Happy birthday! Would you have thought that you can do something wrong on a birthday? Did you know that the enlightened Germans have a superstition on a birthday that is still observed today? And what does Martin Luther have to do with all of this? Let's take a closer look at the video. When I spent half a year in England, I was invited to a birthday party in a club. As some guests were leaving, they wished the host happy birthday. I inquired, isn't his birthday after midnight? Yes, but they can't stay for so long. I was shocked. In Germany, you never congratulate before the birthday. That would bring bad luck. In old superstition, people assumed there were evil forces or demons waiting to do evil and then would try to turn the congratulations into something bad by the birthday. The concern go as fast as that the birthday child could die by the birthday. And what does Martin Luther has to do with birthdays? Birthdays were already known from ancient Egypt, ancient Greece or Rome. With the rise of the Catholic Church, however, ritual church days become more important. The anniversary of the death of a matron was their birthday as saints and the days of the year had the names of a saint. Thus, June 24 was and still is called Johannistag or St. John's Day, the honorary day of John the Baptist. For the birth of a child, it was customary in the Middle Ages to give the child the name of the saint of that day or one of the days shortly thereafter. The name day was then celebrated in honor of the saint. Again, there was a belief that it would bring bad luck if there was too much time between the birthday and the name. With the Reformation, Martin Luther also wanted no more veneration of saints, thus also no name days. In the following centuries, only the birthday was celebrated by the Protestants. Starting from the 19th century, then more and more in completely Germany, the birthday was celebrated and the meaning of the name day after with the Catholics decreased. But how is celebrated now? The first birthday is celebrated at the end of the first year of life. If someone was born on the 24th of June 2022, then this person celebrates the first birthday on 24th of June 2023. In Germany one can definitely distinguish between the birthday and the birthday party. The celebration usually takes place at the weekend when friends and acquaintances or the birthday child have time for celebration. Congratulations are given on the birthday or afterwards. This can be done several times. On the birthday you send a message and at the celebration you congratulate again personally. With small children usually only the closest relatives celebrate. From kindergarten onwards other children are invited. How many are invited depends on various factors. How many friends does a birthday child has and how many children do the parents want to look after for a few hours. In fact, the guests are then brought to the party by their parents and picked up a few hours later. In summer, people often celebrate in the garden if available, who has celebrates in an allotment, Games are played in the garden or in the house, such as hide and seek or pot beating. With school children, you celebrate similarly, but there are also sometimes trips to the swimming pool in a cinema or indoor playground. Here, the number of guests is then, among other things, a question of seats in the car and money. When invited to such birthdays, ask beforehand what the birthday boy or girl would like. Some stores offer to create a birthday basket. Then the guests can go to the toy store or drug store and choose an object from the basket, which will later be given as a gift. If such a basket exists, it is said, 
at the invitation or is written in the invitation. How much you spend on a present depends on you and the money you have available. In kindergarten, so 5 to 10 euros from elementary school, even up to 20 euros. Even with older birthday children, friends rarely spend more than 20 euros per person. The gifts are wrapped and typically given to the birthday child upon arrival. Whether the birthday child unpacks them directly or all together, typically in the presence of the guests, also depends on the patience of the birthday child. The gifts are unpacked in any case on the spot and thanked the giver. Also, Germans are always very honest. This is especially true for children. If the gift was really stupid, then you can usually see that in the children's faces. If a birthday party is at home, depending on when it starts, there's usually coffee and cake and for dinner, depending on the season, often something grilled with salad, chips, with cutlets of pizza. Of course, the birthday child may wish. There is always a birthday cake, mostly the favorite cake of the birthday child, but sometimes also a specially designed cake for this purpose. Depending on the guests, it is looked that their food wishes are also respected, so with sweets, without gelatine, or without meat, or without pork. With teenagers, the celebration at home with hospitality by parents is often not so announced. There, the teenagers would rather celebrate in a pub or a youth home, depending upon season, also simply in the garden or park. A special birthday is of course the 18th birthday when one becomes of adult in Germany. Here also the gifts of the family are somewhat more generous. If now adults have birthday then there is often a professional environment in addition to the birthday party. Already in the school or in the kindergarten the birthday children bring a cake, cookies, muffins, or similar small things and distribute these in their group. The same is done in the professional environment. Depending on how it is usual in the company, the birthday child brings a cake or a breakfast out. If it's rather a man's job, like scaffolders, then also a mad eagle with rolls can be usual. Here it depends on the size of the company, whether all have part of it or only the department. It may well be that congratulations are also offered in the company and people join together to buy a present for the birthday man or woman. But those who have birthday brings the cake or breakfast themselves. Also, in the case of pooling for birthday child, the amounts vary depending on the giver's own position, work and of course from the peculiarity in the company. On special occasions it may also be that a bottle of champagne is opened, but this is initially rather rare and depends on the company whether alcohol is allowed during work hours. In any case there are also tasty non-alcoholic varieties. If you celebrate a birthday as an adult you are allowed to do that as well. Some celebrate only round birthdays or go out for a nice dinner with their partner only and others invite people to their place for an evening out or a garden party. If one is invited to a restaurant then the host pays. Who finds this impossible or unfair? I give the following calculation. Ten friends invite each other regularly. Two friends are unemployed or earn poorly and afford to f invite the friends to a pizzeria or kebab shop for 15 euro per person. Seven friends earn normal money and invite each other to a restaurant for 50 euro per person. One of the friends earns really good money and invites to a star restaurant for 150 euro per person. So the poorer friends have to pay once 150 euro. Most friends have to pay 500 euro once and the rich friend pays 1500 euro once. 
if one would divide each invitation always equally among all guests. Everyone would have to pay in some 530 euro in the year. That would be probably too much for the poorer friends and for the rich French much less. In the same way, it may be that you prefer to invite your friends home and cook there because you can't afford to go to a restaurant or you are a really good cook. If one would have to count then as a guest on the fact that one would have to pay, probably a poorer person would find an excuse not to appear. Sometimes there are also invitations where the host says, I pay for the drinks or I pay for the food. So here the guests will pay their own share of the bill. Oh yes, appear. Often the birthday child wants to know how many people are coming to suitably shop, reserve seats or cook. Therefore people often ask for a response. If one then agrees, as already mentioned in this video, be on time. Usually birthdays do not start exactly at, for example, 1930, but in the first 30 minutes, first of all, greet the guests. If you want to be sure not to come too early or too late, just ask until when you should be there. Most of the time, the place where you meet makes the expected attire quite clear. In an outdoor pool, swimwear, and at the opera, evening wear, at a garden party, rather casual. If you're not sure, again, just ask. Special birthdays after the 18th birthday are then the round birthdays. Celebrations are usually bigger. After a certain age, it is quite common for the mayor or priest to drop in on birthdays. What was your best birthday? And what was your best birthday 